Jerome, I'll start with you. You said you uh, coach put you on the right path. What exactly did he do for you? Well, uh, there was a there was a moment in, in my uh, high school life that uh, I was starting to, to hang out with some of the wrong people, do some bad things, and coach got a wind of it, and he came to uh, my home and talked to my mom and dad and explained to them that one, Jerome had tremendous potential, but he wasn't doing the right things, and that he wanted to make sure that they understood that, you know, uh, what was going on and that I needed to, to get on the right path. And I got everything corrected, went down the correct path, and, and Coach was ever able to, uh, to get me to college and then on to the NFL. That's fantastic. And Coach Dozier, we see you're wearing that shirt. The bus started here. Well, you actually can take some credit because you moved your own Bettis from linebacker to running back. So great insight by you. What was your favorite memory from coaching Jerome? Well, how tough he was. And, and we were playing a team called Redford one day, and they had been sending notes to the high school all week. And Jerome was kind of apprehensive. He got a little afraid, I think. And they were rocking our bus when we got to their field. And I just walked up and down the aisle and told the guys, hey, we'll take care of that when, when it starts. So he came up to me, he said, Coach, I don't know how I'm going to do today. I'm kind of a little, little taken back here. I said, you just let them know what they're thinking of you is not the real you. First, first play, he broke through the line and ran over four guys, okay? <laughs> Second play, seven yards, he did the same thing. And then the third play, he hit ran, the line, ran over two guys, broke to the outside, hit two guys out there, and walked chalk on that line for 72 yards for a touchdown. And those defensive backs who were track guys just stood in the middle field shaking their head because they couldn't believe they had the wrong interpretation of this guy. And I can imagine it in my head. It sounds like the Jerome Bettis that we knew from Notre Dame and also from the NFL. You know, if I'm not mistaken, McKenzie High School no longer exists. I read that it was closed and then it was demolished. Right. So considering the school Jerome is it, not there physically, how much more do those memories start to mean? Uh, the, the memories are special because, uh, you know, the, 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 what the school was able to do for me, I was able to finish uh, school there on National Honor Society. So it wasn't just about the football. It was about the educational process as well. So, you know, there's a lot of memories that go back to McKenzie High School, but also some of, some of the, the, the great players that came there before I played there and after I left there. So there was, uh, there was a lot of great players that played there in all sports, not just football, but Coach Dozier, he was a centerpiece of uh, that football program there, and uh, we had some great success uh, uh, when, I, when we were there.